guys, welcome, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Charlotte, and today's YouTube video is a book review to the book series Deviant Kings by Rena Kent. So one of you guys actually commented this book series down below under one of my videos and things that you recommend I try to read as soon as possible and just kind of review. And um, I read this book and I was like, oh, I'm gonna see how I find this. And then I decided that I had to read the rest of the series as well. So the Deviant King series basically consists of around six books and the three first books follow the same couple. Um, so like the same main characters and then the fourth book the fifth book and the sixth book follow different characters, so then they're each like spin-off books. To be fair, I have only read the first four books, um, but I thought I really need to do a review about them. So basically the first book I think is called actually Deviant King, then we have Steel Princess and I forgot, or was that the third book? I forgot, Twisted Kingdom? Was that one of them? I don't know, they had weird names. But the first book is called Deviant King and that one follows Elsa and Aiden. So Elsa is this girl that kind of grew up, grow, grew up with her aunt and uncle because something really, really tragic happened when she was a small kid that basically killed both her parents. So she um, has been kind of adopted by her aunt and uncle and she just kind of lives with them. And they have, this firm I think called Quinn Engineering and they're working really really hard to like afford like this really good education for her so they sent her for I think the last three years of her school education to this like really prestigious high school like freaking prestigious and she kind of arrives there and on her first day she sees like this boy group that like everybody loves they're like I imagine them to be like the pop stars of this high school and so they're like their own little group and she like comes in and like she sees them and she sees like okay these dudes they run the school and then she sees this girl that is like panicking she this other girl sees them and she's like panicking and that is Kimberly and they kind of like become best friends because they like bond over this boy group being basically bullies and then one of this the dudes in the boy group sees her and he literally comes to her and says I'm going to ruin you and she's like, wait, what? I don't know you, bro. What? And so that, this uh, boy group basically makes her whole school life hell. And she has no idea why, because she doesn't know the guy that basically promised to ruin her. She doesn't know any of these people. Like, she's, like, new. And so she just kind of tells herself, I only have to survive three years and then I'm out of here. And basically the first book kind of takes off after like a little prologue um, and it takes off like in her last year and how she's like, I'm nearly there and I didn't like kill anybody. And then um, Aiden, the guy who has always kept his distance, the one bully that said he's gonna ruin her, he has always kept his distance. He didn't really care about her, not enough to like, kind of like threaten her so he's always kept his distance he's kind of let his minions do all the dirty work and then he decides not to keep his distance and to get involved in the whole bringing Elsa down and people call her the ice princess and not <laughs> not because of um they call her frozen and not because of her name and the movie the child movie but because she just doesn't let them get a rise out of her like they're doing stuff and she's like I don't care Bring it on. Bring it on. And I really like that. I really like that this was the main character that was like, F you guys, I'm not taking anything for granted. Like I'm working to be here. Like I get the grades, that's why I'm here. And I really like that it was a strong female character. This is a dark romance, please be warned. I did not know this going in and I was like, wait, what? Um, the book gave me Punk 57 vibes, but it was more, like, it was more dark, I guess. Like, it was more on the darker side of things. Um, and throughout these, this, like, book series, like, Momo's secrets get unraveled, and then she finds out why Aiden is even interested in her, and then there's this, like, side plot between, like, Aiden's best friend, uh, Xander, and her best friend, and then, like, between two characters that come... I think in the third or second book and uh, the rest of like 
the boys in the group. Um, and the thing is, like, I read the first three books and I really, I liked the first book the most and the second and third book were just like the, a continuation of the story. And I also really like them because the first and second book, I believe, end on cliffhanger. So I was glad that I, like, read uh, the third book as well. The fourth book that follows Sander and Kimberly, like, two, two different um, characters, I did not like. Um, I did not like the uh, plot and I did not like the thing that they brought in there for suspense. It was just, it iked me. I did not like it. And that literally ruined the book for me because I was like, that book had like the most potential. And I was like, oh no, I can't read that. I did read it because I didn't want to DNF it, but I uh, did not like it. <laughs> but other than that, the series is really, really cool. And if you're into like darker romance and you want like a really intense, angsty, read i would definitely recommend it i loved it and i read it really really quickly as well because it was just so intense so if you're into that kind of stuff i would definitely recommend it that was it for today's youtube video i'm charlotte if you're new you can just subscribe to my bookish youtube fam by clicking the button down below it's completely for free check out my other links if you feel like it they are linked down below i also have an amazon wish list if you want to send me your favorite book <laughs> And um, other than that, I hope to see you guys very, very soon in my next YouTube video. Stay safe, stay positive, dream big, and I love you guys very much. Bye!